humans have been contending with the mystery of the world around them uh, for a long, long, there's a lot of mysteries. Like what's up with the sun and and the rain? Yeah. Like what's that about? And then like last year we had a lot of rain and this year we don't have rain. Like what did we do wrong? P humans have been asking that question yeah. for a long time. Exactly. So we're quite, I guess we've developed a lot of mechanisms to cope with this, yeah. uh, these deep mysteries that we can't fully, we can see, but we can't fully understand. And we have to have to just get on with daily life. Yeah. And, and, and we get, we keep ourselves busy, right? In a way, do we keep ourselves distracted? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, weather is one of the most important questions of human history. We still, that's, that's the go-to small talk direction of, yes, <laughs> of the weather especially in england yeah. and, and then it's which is you know famously is an extremely difficult system to model yeah. and uh even that system uh, uh google deep mind has made progress on yes we've we have, we've created the the best weather prediction systems in the world and they're better than traditional fluid dynamics sort of systems that are usually calculated on massive supercomputers takes days to calculate it um, we've managed to model a lot of the weather dynamics with neural network systems with our weather next system and again it's interesting that those kinds of dynamics can be modeled even though they're very complicated almost bordering on chaotic systems in some cases a lot of the interesting aspects of that um, um, uh, can be modeled by these neural network systems, including very recently we had, you know, cyclone prediction of where, you know, paths of hurricanes might go, of course, super useful, super important for the world. And, and, and it's super important to do that very timely and very quickly and as well as accurately. And uh, I think it's a very promising direction, again, of, you know, simulating and uh, uh, so that you can run forward predictions and simulations of very complicated real world systems. I should mention that uh, I've got a chance in uh, Texas to meet a community of folks called the Storm Chasers. Yes. And w what's really incredible about them, I need to talk to them more, is they're extremely tech savvy mm -hmm. because what they have to do is they have to use models to predict where the storm yes. is. So they're, it's, this, <laughs> it's, it's this beautiful mix of like crazy yeah. enough to like go into the eye of the storm yeah. and like, in order to protect your life and predict where the extreme events are going to be, they have to have increasingly sophisticated models of uh, of weather. Yeah, yeah, it's it's a, a beautiful balance of like being in it as living organisms and the the cutting edge of science. So they actually might be using uh, DeepMind systems. So that's yeah, they are, hopefully they are, and I, I'd love to join them in one of those checks. <laughs> they look amazing, right? To actually experience it one time, exactly, yeah. and then also to experience the correct prediction yeah. of where something will come yeah. and how it's going to evolve. It's incredible. Yeah.